Today we've been to the supermarket and we've grabbed ourselves some Asian savoury snacks, haven't we, Bill? Yeah. They're pretty good. I thought they were very interesting. So there's two that are from Korea and one of them is from Malaysia. And I'll just show you what they actually are. So these ones here are by Bika. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Bika. There. Yiko Corn Snacks. Mm. So there they are there. Yiko Corn Snacks. I don't know if any of you guys have had those, but they look interesting. These are the Malaysian ones, so they're made in Malaysia. The second ones are onion flavoured rings. These look good, don't they? Yeah. I reckon onion flavoured rings. And again, these are Korean, these ones. So they'll be interesting. And the third one are the shrimp meat chips. There you go, I'll just get that packet back there, guys. Shrimp meat chips. They look pretty good too, Bill. Yeah. Don't they? And these are Korean as well. So it'll be interesting to see what they're like. So, let's get them open and try them. Right, everyone. First try are the Yiko corn snacks. They look a little bit like cheese twisties on the front, Bill. Yeah. Don't they? Baked, not fried. You see that? Baked, not fried. Yiko corn snacks. Let's try them. They do look like twisties, Billy. I'll just show the guys. If you can see in there, that's what they look like. So they're sort of like an Australian savoury snack called twisties. You can get it in, get them in chicken or cheese. Very look very similar to them. There you go, mate. They're not too bad. I'll just show you guys what they're like. Yeah, go grab one out of there, Bill. But that's them. So, I'm tasting garlic. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Bit of onion, maybe. Let's have a look. Sorry, Bill. See what's in them. Corn, obviously. Barbecue seasoning, wheat flour. Soy protein, garlic, pepper, and chili. I knew I could taste garlic in there, mate. Let's try and get a big one out or a decent size one. That's what they look like again. They're all pretty much looking like that. There you go. Very savory. They're really good. Mmm. And for those Aussies that are watching, almost the same. Uh, a shape as twisties you've seen there. All right, one more, and then we'll get on to the onion rings. Whoop! There goes one on the floor. Mmm. All right. Next up, the onion rings. Now for the onion rings. Onion flavored snacks. Now they have onion rings in fast food sometimes, yeah. like fries, where yeah. they get them off soon. Hungry Jacks have them, pretty sure they do. Getting these open may be challenging. Oh, I've ripped it, not how I wanted it, but we're gonna get them out. Oh, these look pretty cool. Hang on, I'll see if I can open it so everyone can see. I've made a bit of a meal of it. But, yeah, look in there, guys. That's what they look like. Oh, yeah. The onion rings. There's one there. Here, Bill, try that. Yep. <coughs> Not as much flavour, but you can definitely taste onion, and like cooked onion, like fried onion, like you'd fry onion on a barbecue or on a hot plate. Like caramelised onion. Hmm? Like caramelised onion. Caramelised onion, that's right. That's good, mate. They're not too bad. Not as salty. Do they have onion in them? No, they have onion taste seasoning. So they're made of cornstarch. Same stuff as the other ones, really. Look at that. They're like, sort of like, you know, um, giant earrings, aren't they? <laughs> That's what they look like. 
Mm. All right. So I've got similar stuff: cornstarch, starch, onion extract, onion taste seasoning, um, toasted salt. That's interesting. Fine sugar, uh, salt again, potato granules and multidextrin colour, etc. Do you like them? Yeah. There they are. Onion rings. Wow. I just want to straighten that out for you guys so you can see that a bit better. Onion rings. Alright. Okay. On to the next one, the big pack. I'm going to try out the shrimp meat chips from Korea. Let's try them out. Shrimp meat chips from Korea. There they are. These are made by Nong Shim and so are the onion rings. They're made by Nong Shim. There they go. Put a comment below if you've tried any of these. I'd really like to hear if you have. Interesting product. And again, I'll tell you what, I just want to bust into Fort Knox again. Hey. I want to open these. But... That's got it. Alright, can't smell too much shrimp meat, or prawn is what we call them here in Australia. There they are. Try one of them, Bill. And I'll show you typical prawn crackers, like you get in a Chinese restaurant. You ever had these when you go to a Chinese restaurant? Let us know in the comments. They like Chinese. Mmm, they are, they just like them. So they're no different than the prawn crackers or prawn chips you get from a Chinese restaurant. Good flavour. Can I have another couple? Yep. All right, let's have a look what's in them. Tapioca, tapioca flour, palm oil, shrimp, wheat flour, sugar, salt, onion powder, garlic powder. They love their garlic, don't they? Oh, yeah. And why not? I love it too. You like these? Yeah. Mmm. All right. Mmm. The more you eat them, they've got a bit of a sweetness to them. They're not very salty, but there's a bit of a sweetness, and I like that. Similar to the onion rings, I reckon about the same amount of flavour, but you can taste the prawn or the shrimp um, in them for sure. All right, guys, we're going to have a few more of these. We're going to come back and we'll rate them out of 10 for you. Hang on. of them I think. Overall they were pretty good. And the first one we tried was the Yiko Corn Snacks and I did forget to mention that barbecue flavour. And I really liked them. I thought they were they had they were they were more savoury than the other two. They I don't know if they tasted like barbecue but they just had more flavour. And like I said they remind me of the Australian snack twisties. They're very, very similar shape. Different flavour, of course. But all in all, I really like those. So for the Yiko Barbecue Corn Snacks, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. What do you, what do you like about the Yikos, Bill? Well, the Yikos. Yep, these ones. What do you like? Did you like them? Yep. yep. I like the, um, when you bite into them, they're crunchy. Oh, really crunchy, yep. And they're flavouring, I like that. Yep. So I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for them. Well, that's a good score. Let me hold them up again. So Bill's giving them a 9 and I'm giving them an 8. Yep. So that's a good score, Bill. All right, so that's that. The next one we tried were the, these are from Nong Shim and they're from Korea. And these were the onion flavoured rings. So there they are there. And you can't smell too much onion in them but when you actually ate them and bit into them you really could taste the taste of barbecued or cooked onion and it was quite pleasant um, probably the only thing not going for them was the fact that they probably weren't quite salty enough they lacked a bit of salt but I thought the actual flavor of onion was really authentic because they didn't really have real onion in them I had onion taste seasoning 
So I thought they were pretty good for the flavour. So for those ones, I'm going to give those a 7 out of 10 for the onion rings. Bill, what are you going to give the onion rings, mate? Out of 10. Ah, uh, them. Yep. I did really like it, so yep. I'm going to give them 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for them. Not a high score from Billy. They were nice. Did you like the flavour? Onion flavour? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I like, because they, because like them ones. Yep. Like the brewery ones. Yep. They kind of taste like them. Sort of. We'll yeah. get on to them now. Alright, so the last one we had, again from Nong Shim, was the shrimp meat chip. So basically, um, these guys were just like your prawn chips or shrimp chips you'd get from a Chinese mm -hmm. restaurant. I know that we get those here in Australia. Um, so it's pretty common to have them. But again, I thought the flavor of the shrimp or prawn was really there. Yeah. Um, they tasted really good. They were comparable to anything you get at a Chinese restaurant. Um, so they were really, really nice. I enjoyed them, but nothing unusual. Um, very similar, of course, to something we've had numerous times. Uh, I think if you buy a certain amount of Chinese, I know where I am, you get a bag for free. Um, but anyway, they were pretty good as well. Again, good flavour, lacking in a bit of salt though, for my liking, uh, but really like them. So for the Nong Shim Shrimp Meat Chip, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10 again. So 7 out of 10, so solid product. Bill, what are you going to give the shrimp meat, mate? Uh, I'm gonna give them. Yep. Oh, they're really good, like them ones. Yep. So I'm gonna give them an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Well, that's a big score as well. So eight out of ten. That's nice. So we both enjoyed those guys. And if you've got a chance, jump on down to Coles is where we got those from. Coles Supermarket. If you're anywhere else in the world, I don't know. They might have them in your Asian section of your local supermarket. You might want to try it out and see if you can get them. But definitely give them a go. Just a little bit different or trying to try something a little bit different than the norm. But pretty enjoyable, good to have with a few drinks if you've got mates around, a few beers, a few lemonades if you're Bill. And good on a Saturday Arvo, aren't they Bill? Yeah. Just before a barbecue or something. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Supermarket Grab on Door TV. We really appreciate your support guys. Don't forget to like and share the vid. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe. Because we're going to catch you next time on... Door TV! Woo!